Hey guys, Brian here with Better Chest Training, and in today's video, we are going to be doing an end game study, and this is one composed by Kubel. You know, I've been studying a book by him, and this was composed in 1909. It is white to play and win. And what I recommend you do is pause the video, set up this on a board if you wish, and uh, take 15 minutes and try to solve it. Then come back and see the solution. Okay, well, let's take a look at this position a little before we show you the solution here. And a couple of things that you want to note. First, this pawn is a passed pawn. So we want to take a look at that. And we're only up a pawn. And so winning would involve either winning this bishop or voting this pawn. Now we might want to notice a few things here. For example, uh, this king is kind of far away, but it is within the square of the pawn, so we might be able to stop this pawn. So we need to take that into account. We also have to note that this knight is in a nice centralized position, and so it may be good for finding a way to win. And whenever you have a knight against a bishop, you want to be looking for themes of domination, where the knight has such control over the squares that the bishop will not have much activity. So we want to look at some forcing moves, and there's really only a few. Of course, we have uh, checks. We can attack this bishop. And then the other one uh, is the actual threat to promote this pawn. Okay. And when we're looking at end game studies, and perhaps we should look at this in our games in any case, we want to look at moves that are going to limit your opponent's responses. So forcing moves. You want to look at those first. And you know, so if you looked at a move like king to c1, can see that, of course, we can see moves like king to a2 will lose immediately, and of course, it can't go to c2 or f7, but that leaves a lot of places for black to go. So maybe king to c1 is not quite the move we want to look at. Uh, similarly, well, if we look at uh, king to c7 or knight to c7, we can probably quickly eliminate that as an option as well, because this pawn can take it. For example, this king will be able to stop this pawn pretty easily, uh, or even this bishop even. Okay, and so go back. We look at knight to b5, uh, also similar in that there's a lot of places that this king can go. For example, if you go here, try to. Now, this knight is being attacked. Let's say we try to advance, then this bishop can actually stop it, and then this knight is still under attack. And then, after the knight were to move, then uh, we can attack this pawn. Okay, so just leaves a lot to be calculated before we get into all that. Um, hopefully, you can find a move that really limits our opponent's choices, and that would be d6. Okay, so d6 is, of course, threatening to, to advance and promote. And, of course, this bishop cannot stop it because the knight is covering the five square. So Black has to play either king to b6 or king to b8. Let's just start with b8. So d6, king to b8. And here, the next move. So if we advance, then um, the king is just going to be able to stop this pawn. If we try to, and, and there's no real knight moves that are going to really be able to limit because if the knight moves, then 
Well, we can't go with the bishop, I guess, because that. But black can just play king to c8, for example. And now, for if try to go something like this, threatening to advance, then uh, black can now bring his knight over here. Okay, so instead. After king to b8, we can play king to c1, attacking this bishop. And the theme behind this, or the clue here, is that this knight kind of has control of some of the key squares, and also now with this threat of advancing, um, which is going to come up next, we can force this bishop onto a square that is bad. Okay, so as we already talked about, king to a2 is bad because of king to b2, and the bishop is trapped. And here we're going to go with bishop to d3. The bishop can go to d3, it can go to 4 it can go to e6, and it can go to h7. But the concepts or the theme behind the solution here are all the same. So let's start off with d3, and here we continue with our theme of trying to promote this pawn and we play e7. So king to c7 is forced to stop pawn. And here is where we come up with the solution or the rest of the solution, which is knight to e6 check, of course threatening the of course putting the king in check, but also more importantly covering this e8 square. So the king is forced to capture, and hopefully you guys saw this. Now have this knight fork, and we're going to win the bishop. Then it will be an easy win for white after that. Well, let's go back. That was bishop to d3. Let's go back a move. Instead, let's look at bishop to e4. And now that you know the concept, it pretty much is the same thing. d7, king to c7, then we have knight to e6 again, and this time I'm going to do the forking check here on c6, okay? Takes d7, knight to c5 check, king to d6, for example, and then knight takes e4, okay? Go back again, or bishop to g g6, again, d7, because we have to force that king to c7, then here, Knight to e6 check, and again have this fork. Then finally have bishop to h7, e7, king to c7, knight to e6 check, king takes e7, and knight to f8 check, forking king and the bishop. So this is uh, this theme is called domination, and it comes up in uh, a lot of endgame studies. But the idea can transfer over to your games as well, either with the bishop dominating the knight and controlling where it can go, or in this case, uh, which can be quite tricky, as well as elegant, the knight with all of its forking possibilities, as well as covering some of the dark or the light squares in this case. Uh, dominating the bishop. I hope you guys were able to solve that. Uh, I am enjoying these Kubel studies. Not only do they have some very instructive themes, they're also uh, very beautiful in my opinion. If you want to see a playlist of endgame studies we've done on this channel, check out the playlist over here. And if you haven't already done so, check out my e-newsletter and you can check out the link down below subscribe hope you guys are having a great day and i'll talk to you soon